Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of TV Release. It's me, Wolk here, and let me quickly put down the snake picture. And I completely forgot that it was running in the background. Um, I'm doing a different setup because it's just me by myself. Um, Zenrot went to go see Detective Pikachu, so you just get me today. Yay, right? Alright, so because it's just me, I get to experiment a little and do something a little bit different. So here's the man that we're going to be talking about today. It is uh, Monaka, but I believe his name is Monaka. No, it's Fictious Universe Strongest Beerus Monaka costume. So it's a Beerus in a Monaka costume, which is from the episode of Dragon Ball Super, in which he tries to keep uh, Kayfabe alive by um, getting Goku under, you know. Um, Beerus is a big believer in keeping you know, the illusion alive. So if Monaka loses, then he has to get his heat back. And, you know, you can't have Monaka lose to anything. Anyway, that's enough. That that I'm going to sign off on my need to talk about wrestling part. Anyway, let's actually get into him. Let's rate this big boy. Um, okay, let's see. His leader skill is for Universe 7 and is key plus 3 and 50% to each stats. Uh, his super attack is called God of Destruction's Lie, which is funny. I should also say the reason I'm talking about him is because he was global first, but now he's on Japan. So this was a global first unit, so we actually have all the translated info of everything. So that's fun. That's nice to have every once in a while. Uh, you should play global because you get awesome units like this, not like the... Uh, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, recently we've been doing a lot of global first units because we did the LR... Uh, Goten and Gohan, and then here we are with Manaka, one of the original founding, uh, original, and also LR Broly, the original Broly, the one that's not coming out yet, is also going to be global first, so I guess global just really likes getting stuff from Second Impact first, and then also Manaka, two icons of Dragon Ball. Anyway, let's get back. Um, his passive skill is attack 77% for four turns, but after, but then he gets an additional 70% no, it's my bad. 77% attack for four turns when he gets attacked. And then raise attack 77% more, the, depending on how low your HP is. Oof. Oof, sorry about that. Link skill is godly power. His um, link skill is godly power prodigies. More than meets the eye, shocking speed, connoisseur, in fighter, shattering the limit. And his categories are realm of gods and universe 7. Uh, let's see. For a free-to-play unit, I don't know. This one's... I think it's nice that they make... Because um, this is a joke card. But it's a joke card in a way that's like... Not like Hercule, because most Hercule cards are joke cards. When you really get down to the nitty-gritty of it all. So I'm glad that they're able to at least make... This is a joke card, but it's still playable. Like, um, I'm going to get my math completely wrong, but 144% attack raise is pretty good for a free-to-play unit. The only problem is, is, of course, he has no defense, and now that all events are crazy hard, having no defense is pretty bad. It's not like you were ever going to take this guy into the new Goku stage regardless, but hey, whatever. Uh, other than that, he's kind of limited because his categories are just Realm of Gods and Universe 7. I think he has even less um, categories than Beerus. Let me look that up just to be sure, but I want to say Beerus has at least three, because he has um, Brotherly. No, depending on what version of Beerus, he could either have Realm of Gods, Movie Bosses, or Sibling Bond. So wait, why doesn't he get Red the fucking Universe 7 link? That doesn't make any sense. Is it because none of our Beerus has come from that specific age because he doesn't do anything? Hmm. Does the LR Beerus and Weiss Weiss have it? No, they don't. Okay. Weird. I don't know. But yeah, he's a joke unit for an event that is basically a joke. Um, he's funny to look at. I would have probably preferred an actual Monaka as opposed to the joke one, but here we are. So on the big boy scale, how big is this boy? I'm going to give him a, uh, a 2 out of 5. I think they should have been... 
I think the joke would have been better if he was actually more well built and actually leaned into the fact that he's Beerus. Because again, he is fighting Goku in this specific episode, so I guess they didn't want him to be too strong. Because then that's like, why are we making this joke character so strong? But I think it would have been better. Also, his links are kind of all over the place. May, may, may actually, it's just that more than meets the guy is a shitty link, so why give it to him? That's my feeling on it, anyway. Uh, okay. And that's the only unit we're putting on the big boy scale, because as I said, when it's me by myself, I, you know, I like to keep things nice and short. Not really say anything, say anything more, so. Sorry to disappoint. You know what, you know what, here. Have the snake video. You guys deserve the snake video. Look at him drink wet water. Isn't it great when Zen's not here so you get to have quality content like this as me watching the snake drink water? There's no sound, but you can only assume. Snake drinking water. You know what? I can get some music for snake drinking water. Uh, one moment. As I find a song for snake drinking water. Okay. Oop. That's too loud. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. He's been in the desert all day long. And he just needs this drink. It's like a river in the desert. I forget how big <laughs> this fucking song's build up is. Yeah. Sip. 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 Alright, that's enough. Ah. Uh, take it down. No more snake drinking water. Okay. Let's get into questions, as again, uh, you can leave me a question, either by leaving a comment on YouTube, in which case we'll read it, and we didn't get any this week, but I always look, th I always answer those first, those get top priority, and the other way is to uh, wait for me to ask for them on Twitter, and then we'll answer them. Uh, in this case, it will just be me, so let's get into it. First question comes in from Nighthawk, who asks... What is your favorite elemental hero? Also, what elemental hero would you like to see as an LR? Um, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna go with the lamo answer and say Stratos, cause Stratos is super powerful. So, and I hated fighting him, so he's the one elemental hero I can actually say I don't like fighting, at least back in the day. So I'll say Stratos. I think he'd be work really good as an LR. I don't know how his ability would translate to Dokkan, but that's not my job, really. It's their job. Uh, but if it wasn't, if not him for an LR, it'd have to be Neos, right? Like a transforming Neos based off of like, ah, oh, damn it. it. No, this is a Neos spaceship. I was going to say Grand Mole is actually my favorite elemental hero, but I guess he doesn't count because he has to fuse with... Um, neos to be considered an elemental hero but yeah i think a neos with like a transformation it has to whatever elemental hero gets to make it into lr it either has to be a duo and then it turns into like um like obviously for the icon of gx it would have to be um avion and oh, I was about to do, avion and no is it avian and Percentatrix, there you go, Percentatrix. They would f they would be a joint card, and then their LR would be turning into Elemental Hero, Flame Wing Man, or maybe if you're super low on health, you could somehow get Spark Man. Into the and then after that, then there's an active skill, so after they transform, they can then go into Shining Flare Wing Man or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I think that sounds pretty good. Thank you for the question, Nighthawk. Next question comes from N3ON007 who asks, Dokkan related question, do you think the old Super Strike free to play SA15 cards will easy A at some point? I don't know. Like if they were to easy A, they would have to be SA20 and then their level would be, I think for the most part, Super Strike cards are dead because there's no such thing as a good Super Strike card anymore. And their events are very, like, old-style based now. If they want to introduce a free-to-play character, they give an entire story event around them, regardless of how good the unit is. Like, I guess back in the day, if Ribrian were to come out back in year one at Dokkan, she would have been a Super Strike. At least that's what I feel about it, is I feel like a lot of, like, 
I guess there's no real distinction between what was Super Strike at one point and what is currently free-to-play cards. I feel like back in the day, Super Strikes were tough, and when you got the unit, they were actually good. But now, all Super Strikes are worse than modern-day um, free-to-play cards, like Gogeta, so it doesn't make any sense. So I don't think they'll ever use EA, because two of them, Piccolo Jr. and Kibito Kai, are basically lost to the wasteland. So just expect like actual new versions of that card before those things get easy aid. That's how I feel, and that's how I think at this moment. But let's see. You never know. Dokkan could totally change their mind at some point. Thank you for the question. Oof. Okay. Next question comes from some guy, and he asks, Did you guys ever go to college? If so, where? I'm going to East Carolina University in the fall, and I'm kind of excited slash nervous. Uh, I did go to college. Uh, I have a degree in uh, animation, which I forget the name of it, and then I also have a master's in business. Uh, I went to a very shady school. I have my degrees. That's all that really matters. It's It wasn't a, a name that you would recognize because it's such a crapshoot of a place. I met a lot of good people, though. I met a lot of the Mimeo Force, a lot of good friends. Don't regret it. Uh, I would say the thing, only thing I do regret is the money I have to pay, but that's everyone. So, welcome to America. Either way, good luck in college, uh, whatever you're studying. Have fun. Because, let me tell you, life only gets harder. That's getting too real. We had to put up the snake. Yeah, there you go. Faith in humanity restored. Snake drinking water. It's a beautiful thing. Drink that water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next question comes in from uh, Markle, hashtag Rookie Gang. Did you guys see what happened with Bleach Gotcha? Do you think it's going to happen similar to every Western release of a gotcha? Now, I believe I looked this up because I had not actually seen what happened to the Bleach Gotcha. Basically, what they did is what they did in, I believe, Denmark or something, where they just put a limit on how much you could spend. Um... I mean, it's possible. They're both by Bandai. I don't see it happening. What's actually going to happen is that every Rustin release gotcha that's going to come out now is probably just going to be built differently. And um, as for modern day ones, I just don't know what's going to happen. I think they'll still be around. There'll be limitations on them. I think it's probably likely it will just happen with Bleach. But I'm not into the whole doom and gloom of like, this makes no money, so let's get rid of it, because that doesn't make any sense. Because I don't think Dokkan costs that. What will happen is that you'll probably reach the limit of how much it's worthwhile to keep a gotcha going. You know what I mean? If the bar is now set to, to that Dokkan can only make a set amount of money at a certain point, Okay, sorry about that. Someone came into the house super late at night, so it was someone that was supposed to be here. Don't make it seem like I'm being robbed anyway. Anyway, the point is what I was trying to say is that um, the point in which Dokkan makes sense to keep running might be lower if they can't, depending on how much money it actually is able to make, how much um, how much sense it makes to actually give resources, re, uh, resources to something in global maybe you'll see less uh, improvements as well. That's how I feel. But we'll see what happens. And the final question comes in from Bunny Yo. Do you think Goku should receive Gram should revive Grandpa Gohan with the Dragon Balls? Um, no, not really. Grandpa Gohan seems pretty fine being dead. And, uh, yeah, I just don't think so. <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of those things of, like, Grandpa Gohan has never really seemed bummed out about the fact that he's dead he just kind of is dead and it's like all right goku didn't really mean to kill me it's fine i'm just gonna they named a kid after me i'm also grandpa gohan is also really fucking old he lived a perfectly fine life if anything master roshi should probably you know what don't even let me say that point is no i don't think he should revive him at all uh keeping the four star ball around him is enough for him basically is what i'm trying to say all right that is every question we have right now thank you for all the people who sent it in sorry for it being such a short uh, to be released if i had more questions if i actually posted it at like a good 
again, send me questions when I ask for them. It's very hard to get questions sometimes, but hey, it's also because the current hype shit in Dokkan is Monaka showed up, and everyone's waiting for LR, Gohan, and Goten, so... Who cares right now is what I'm saying. But anyway, I'll see you all in the next episode of uh, To Be Released. Thank you for joining me. And, oh man, you know what? I can actually just play the Captain Lou video. Actually, no. That's a bad idea. Anyway, uh, because it's super late at night, I'll just say, oh, because Zen needs to be here to say that's no good. Um, remember everyone don't play Dokkan uh, Dokkan can and will kill if you know someone who's playing Dokkan that's not how it goes at all fuck alright fuck it alright see you all later remember keep playing Dokkan at a reasonable pace Dokkan can kill and if you do play Dokkan you go to hell before you die and that's no good bye everyone Are you now? Don't you think you could pay and call the tone? Or if you